We are about set to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dock. The Bruins will look to go on the offensive as they win the opening draw. McAvoy slugging the puck. Sends a pass over. And he slides it quickly to Lindholm. Boston's got the puck against the boards. Oh my goodness, it stayed out. What a save. It was all but in James and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck. That was on display. Receives the pass. Big hit and that frees up possession. Lindholm stick handling in his own zone. Now he slides it up to Pasternak. The Bruins played along the wing. The Avs have it now. Here's a shot. Teed up and turned away on his part. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Boston's won the draw and they'll go to work. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Fabry. Quick pass across to McAvoy. And that's broken up. Takes the feed at the point. Oh, he just got enough of that to keep it out. Quick feed to McAvoy. Oh, look at this. They are really starting to apply the pressure now. Here's a shot. The Bruins gain possession. Quinn's taking it from his own end. Skates across the blue line. Poked away in the offensive end. Oh, solid save by Swayman. Puck grab by McAvoy. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Best move to the middle. What shot. Colorado's moving it along the wing. Broken up in the defensive zone by Geeky. The Bruins will play it in their own end. Picks off the pass. Cousins plays it against the boards. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Still no score in this one. The Avs take possession here inside the offensive zone. Dismiss that chance. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Stones him in front from the place 99 made famous. Fantastic save! Came up with the save on that play. Danger, danger. Skates for the crease. The Bruins have the puck now. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Defensive end. Boston's got the puck along the wall. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. James, he already has an assist, but every scores! And the kid has his first in the NHL. Oh, that's gotta feel so good. You always want to feel like you're contributing and you want to give a lasting impression, especially when you're new. This is a moment he won't forget. The dream is realized, James. Welcome to the show, kid, as he gets his first career goal. Well, a special moment for that young rookie, and now he's got to find a way to try to calm those nerves. Uh, it's going to be tough because the adrenaline is going to be a flow in. You know, when he was a young child, he probably thought about this moment over and over. Now that it's happened, probably a little surreal. So it's going to take some time here to just embrace the moment, get back out there, hey, and try and do it again. Here's a shot. Boston's got it from behind the net. Looking for space inside the D zone. Boston's across the blue line. Center and Scores! What a finish on the play! That's great. Power.
puck movement, James, working hard away from the puck to support the puck carrier, and they gained that entry because they got numerical advantage, and they capitalized and executed with it. Boston's clearly had a few energy drinks prior to puck drop because they're already up by a pair here in the first. It's always great to see a team come out and play with desperation, not just at the end of the game. There's been urgency to their step and a lot of pace to their play. The Bruins gain possession along the wall. Chatfield's got the puck in his own zone. Handles it again. Moves it to Pasternak. The Avalanche have the puck in their own end. Play whistle dead offside the call. Well past the midway mark of this period, the Bruins have all the momentum right now, leading by two. McKinnon's quick stick lands on the puck here at center. The Avs carry it along the wall. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Grabbed along the board by Edmund Larson. Steps in with the block. Loose puck and they're off to the races. And now it's grabbed by Dubé. Jocelyn for the puck and he loses control. Here's a pass down low. Dubé's exploring options with the puck. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Georgiev. Takes the feed from the left side. Quick pass to Lindholm. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. Boston's got the puck in the defensive end. Pass across to Pasternak. Moves it around along the half wall. Picked up along the boards by Pasternak. Sends it down low. Oh, he'd like to have that one back as it goes off the side. Headman pass. On the attack along the boards. Here's a short pass to McCall. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. There's the whistle. We'll get a face off after the goalie covers up. In the final moments of this period, 2-0 is the score. The Bruins come up with the defensive zone draw. And it's a quick pass to Kubelik. Along the half wall with the puck. The Avs have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Here's a chance. And he hangs on just as time runs out. All right, time to get a clean sheet of ice here as period number one comes to an end. As you heard the horn sound, we'll be back with much, much more as this is going to be a fun one tonight. Opening face-off for period number two, and both set to go. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? The Avs didn't get off to a great start at all. I mean, they've been chasing the game, and the real reason why they're behind in this one, they haven't had any possession time. We're still in the early stages of this period. 2-0 is where we sit. Boston's going to start with the puck in their own end. Feeds it on over to Dubé. Moves the puck to Pasternak. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Boston's got the lead here early in this second period. Their offense has been clicking at all cylinders thus far. The Avs win the draw. Picked up along the wall by Landeskog. The Avs will play it from the defensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Byram. McKinnon's got the puck. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. The Bruins gain control of the puck. From off the wall and onto a stick. Takes the return feed. Good stand up hit. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Moves it quickly over to Landeskog. Shot! Oh, scores! Nathan McKinnon! Coach,
coaches are always harping on pass execution. Well, this is a clear example. When the pass is crisp and it's on the tape, it's on the money, it finds the back of the net. Colorado suddenly made this a lot more intriguing here in this second period. I know it's cliche, James, but the game is 60 minutes. It's only the second, and they've got themselves within one. A lot of runway to go. Taken by Gerard. With possession along the wall. Here he is in close. Colorado's got the puck against the wall. Boston's looking to break out. Now a quick pass to Wenberg. The Bruins take it along the wall. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Georgiev's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. Pasternak bobblehead. Let's get a closer look at this. And here it is on your screen here. They did a fantastic job. I mean, look at the personality and the charm. They brought this all in glory bobblehead fashion. Taken along the wall by Winberg. Puck scooped up by Nachuskin. Into the attacking end. Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. Feeds it over to Fabry. Centering pass! What a chance, but they can't connect. Quick feed to Colton. Good hit to bump him off the puck. Takes the pass. Puck picked up by Geeky. The Bruins played along the boards. And that's taken by the defense. Moves it to Cousins. Takes the feed. Shot! Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. A timely save is everything to your team, and this goaltender, he bails his team out. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Well, another sellout here inside the arena tonight. And Cheryl, I got a question for you. You know who likes a winner? Everyone Everybody likes a winner. winner. Yeah. I think I had that tagline, no problem. And this entire building loves a winner. And that's why they're here. They've been following their team. who has been doing so many things well, in particular their energy and dictating the pace right from the get-go. You can feel it. It's electric and passionate in here. Boston's got the puck against the half wall. Scores! And just like that, they take that momentum away. Well, that's a huge shift. I mean, listen, your opponent scores, and instead of allowing them to build the confidence on it, they stomp it out right away. That's exactly what you want to do if you want to be a competitive team. Boston's now gone up by two in the back half of the second, and... This is a nice place to be right now if you're in front. Exactly where they want to be. It's exactly how they would have written it up, but they've been dominating possession. And when you have the puck, the other team doesn't. And they've been rewarded with a couple of goals. Quick shot! Oh, what a save in front! Colorado's got a hold of the puck now. Oh, he scores! That's his first of the year! I don't care what anyone says, James. When you get on the score sheet, there's a little bit of relief that sets in. Your sit gets a little What you call having a nose for the net. You take the initial shot and you get back to the front of the net for your own rebound. That's a great tenacious goal. The Avalanche have put themselves right back into this one after that goal. Well, good teams have a way of burying the bad play and looking ahead, and they've done just that, getting themselves back in this game. Moves the puck. They've got no throughout the game, James. You have to capitalize on your opportunity. I thought they executed perfectly. They didn't overpass. The right player took the right shot. The Bruins have extended the lead to two, and boy, I really like their game tonight. Yeah, they've had the puck, and when you have the puck, it's certainly a lot easier to generate opportunities, but it's their play away from the puck, supporting it, which is the reason why they're being able to maintain it. Quick pass to McKinnon. Puck grabbed by Carlo. Pushes it across to Haig. Feeds the puck across to Carlo. Big time hit against the wall there. Wow, that was a tough one, man. That was thunderous, and it even 
and broke a pane of glass. There's gonna be a stoppage in play here. More than half the frame has been played here. Boston's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. The Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. Intercepts the pass at center. And now it's grabbed by Pasternak. Here's a short pass to Chatfield. And he takes the pass. Answered the call on that play. Oh, there's one more! Boston's got it in their own zone. The Bruins will play it against the boards. And he can't hang on after that hit. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. And now he moves it quickly to Makar. Makes a move in front. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. A player should never be left alone in this slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. And that's a smart heads-up play by Gerard. Pass to Kunin. And now he angles it across to Donato. To his teammate! And that's broken up with a stick in front. Tries to get it over to McAvoy. Here they come on the attack. A chance in front! Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Slides it back to the blue line. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Nice save from point blank range. Takes the feed. Takes the puck. And just got a piece of it to keep it out. The key to being a great goaltender is not giving up second shot opportunities, and it's playing the rebounds to the corner. He does an excellent job here. Well, two periods down and one more still to come. Third period action right after we get a clean sheet of ice. Players are set, officials are set. Third period action is coming up. All right, the puck is dropped on the third and final frame. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. Boston's ahead in this high-scoring affair, but it is action-packed. One team scores, and the other team says, yeah, no, it's my turn now. I mean, the counterattack has been unbelievable. Center and feed, and that's stopped. Lindholm's moving the puck through his own zone. Here they come, down the left side on the attack. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. Boston's got possession here in the offensive zone. Sorry, James, didn't mean to step on your toes, but that was a massive hit, and now the play continues. Tries to feed it over to McCarr. Scores! Well, a little puck luck on that one as it bounces off someone in front. You can just see the weight shift, James, there in that slap shot where he's able to just tag it as he walks into it and beats the goaltender low stick side. The Avs have suddenly put themselves into striking distance to even things up here in the third. And it's tough when you're on the other side of this. You can feel the wave coming and you're not sure how to stop it. So they have to find a way to continue the pace and put them on their heels and just attack the net. The Bruins scoop it up along the boards. Moves it quickly over to McCarr. Great save, played it perfect. Quick feed to McCarr. And that's deflected off someone in front. Denied with the glove by Swayman. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. McCarr has been on fire lately. Everything he throws at the net seems to be going in. When it's working for you, you gotta be confident. You feel like nothing can go wrong. The Bruins win the defensive zone faceoff. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Slides it over to Carlo. Boston's got the puck against the half wall. And they score! They score on the delayed penalty, James, so that's going to negate their power play, but it looks like they didn't need it. So he does a great job of maneuvering 
using his body to get available in tight to the goaltender. Anytime you're net front, you want to find a way to get your stick on a pop. This one timer that he's able to get off keeps the goaltender clean. The Bruins haven't exactly been on point here tonight, but yet, look at the scoreboard here, Cheryl. Up by two here in the third. Well, it's all about timing and the recognition of a quality shot over quantity here, James. I mean, they've had the minority of shots on net, and guess what? This spells frustration for their opponent. Boston's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Unable to reach that one. Moves it to Carlo. Boston's got a hold of the puck. Slick feed. Boston's got the puck in the corner. Oh, what a power save on the play. Made the save on the play. The Avs are on the attack. Boston's got control of it now from their own end. And he slides it quickly to Frederick. Slittering feed. And he denies that great opportunity there. Colorado's got to be frustrated with how things have played out tonight, trailing in this third period. And they win the offensive zone faceoff, and here we go. Quick pass to Frederick. Stopped by the goaltender. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Shot! Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to swat it away. McAvoy got it in the offensive zone. Keeps a hold of it on the play. Feeds it up ahead. Turning to the slot. Oh, it goes up the club and he keeps it out. There's another stop. What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they got to start playing. Here's a short pass to Gerard. Slides the puck down low. Gets it out of his own end. Great hustle to come up with the puck. Oh, and he's somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put a fire. Comes up with a monster save in front. Coonan's on the attack in the offensive zone. Quick shot. Denies him. He got all of it. Zaka's gaining momentum. Looking to set up offensively. Sends it out front. And he'll hang on to it to regroup here for a moment. Here he is in close. And that goes off a player in front. The Bruins looking against the half wall. From the slot. Denies him in close. What a fantastic save from a high danger scoring area, James. And I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Here in the back half of this period, while well, fans being treated to some offensive fireworks, it's a 5-3 game. Boston's won the faceoff. Moves it quickly over to Chatfield. To the low slot. Too many bodies in the way. Hurt's been so dangerous tonight. He's got two in the game. You know he's looking for the Hattie. Takes it out of the offensive zone and back to center. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. Cuffs up the puck after that hit. And that's a great heads-up play in the offensive zone. The Bruins will play it in their own end. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Georgiev. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. The Avs have it against the wall. Natruskin's got it against the boards. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Wenberg. Takes the feed from the left side. Forces the turnover. Scooped up along the wall by Quinn. The Avalanche have possession along the boards. Sends the pass over. They've got to find a way to get some offense here. And they've got the extra attacker out with the goaltender at the bench. Boston's moving it up the ice. Yeah, and this one will all but seal the deal, James. A real insurance marker and a game well fought and a win well earned. Well, you can see the body language on them, James. The dying moments of the game, and they're able to get the empty net goal. Everyone can take a deep breath here as that.
should do it. The Avs have had more scoring chances, and yet they trail late in this third period. McKinnon's gained possession inside the neutral zone. And the fans on their feet recognizing a solid victory here in front of them.